A local woman wants to help people in Louisiana who are following the storm. She moved to Richmond a year before Hurricane Katrina hit, but after the storm, other family members left the area and resettled as well. But she says eventually some went back and now they're devastated all over again. Leland Pender is in the studio now to tell us about her plan to help out. Leland? Yeah, Bill and Candace, uh, Ebony Field says many people she knows were not able to evacuate. The storm developed and intensified so quickly, leaving them short on time, resources and means. She's concerned for all those affected by Hurricane Ida, but especially her mother, also named Ida, who's in a nursing home and lives with dementia. Now, Field says it's heartbreaking to see her hometown torn apart by another hurricane. She wants to get supplies not only to her mother and other family members and friends, but also to any other residents of the nursing home where her mother lives. Feeling otherwise helpless, she was compelled to try and collect relief items. She's asking for adult diapers, water, non-perishable food, clothes, blankets, and entertainment like puzzles for nursing home residents. Phil says she'll rent a storage unit to store items she receives. And if it's safe, or when it's safe rather, she hopes to take those items to Louisiana in a week or so. I have faith and I know that God can do things that man just can't even imagine. But I feel that I can do something, you know. So right now I'm just trying to ask people to donate what they could. Now, Field says generators kicked in and she was able to talk to someone at the nursing home about her mother last night, but she's not had any luck today. If you want to know more about her effort, she started a GoFundMe page under the name Ida's Daughter. You can also email her at exodusrising9 at gmail.com.